It's Max and Kim. Welcome back to another video. Today we are in Port Barton or Barton or Barton. We'll pronounce it that way for you guys because when we asked to go to Port Barton, no one knew what we were talking about. So yeah. when you ask for directions, Port Barton is where you are. It's actually really easy to get here from Puerto Princesa. What we did is we walked outside our accommodation, got in a tricycle, <laughs> we went to the San Jose terminal where the tricycle driver took us exactly to the van we needed to get on. All the prices there were the same, we asked around. So it's 350 each to get from Puerto Princesa to Puerto Barton and that takes about three and a half hours. Depending on how fast your driver is. The other option is you can take a bus. We don't know the exact price because we couldn't find anyone when we were asking around at the station. But they only leave once a day and that's only at 8am each day. The vans leave I think 13 times a day. <laughs> There's a 6am, a 7.30am and then from 9am till 6pm they go once every hour. And then once you get into Port Baton you just have to sign your name, where you're from and you have to pay a 50 peso fee and that's valid for seven days. Then we checked into our accommodation. We've got this amazing bamboo hut. It's a fan room, it comes with its own balcony. You actually have your own bathroom with great water pressure. Kim amazing washed it here. Amazing water pressure. <laughs> All of this is only costing 920 pesos a night. It does come with an amazing breakfast as well. You get options yeah. between an American breakfast, all the different chilog log Pork options. <laughs> Chick silog, hot, hot silog, silog, all the silog options, which are, the log. <laughs> which is, are the traditional Filipino meals, which come with meat, the rice, and some egg. And then you can also get French toast or pancakes. Today we're going to do a bit of exploring. So we're going to head out and go to one of the major waterfalls here, and then we're going to go and check out the white sand beach. Oh, lastly, we're renting all of our stuff through this one guy called Don Don, who we'll put up here. Yeah. He's amazing. His place is literally 10 meters from Ishanti's place. So if you can't find him, come to Ishanti's place and it's just to the right towards the beach. Port Barton is becoming a more and more popular destination, hence the increase in prices since December last year. It's a very quiet village. Most people think of this place as a smaller version of El Nido. A lot of people are saying it's awesome because the boat tours are about half the price. Since December last year they actually almost doubled in price. A, B, C and D all went up to 1200 pesos each from 750 pesos. Yeah. So if you've seen some other reviews and they're telling you the cheaper price, there's been an update since then, so this is definitely an up-and-coming area. We'll take you on an island tour tomorrow, but today, it's waterfall time. One gas station, and it's very old. He, there's no, like, the price doesn't come up, so he just fills it up until he knows when the price is right. We just made the, it was only a 15 minute drive to the Pamuyan Falls, about 5 kilometers from the main center in Port Barton. From the other videos we expected the roads to be extremely rough the whole way. They've actually done a lot of work on the roads, so the, the ride here was actually pretty pleasant. We did drive through a river at the end, so you got that to look forward to. And then once you get here you just pay a donation, which is up to you how much you pay. So we made it to the waterfall, it's about a 15 minute walk from the car park through some beautiful forest. Super cool in there as well as in like not hot which has been really really nice and we're here at about 10 o'clock and there's a few people around yeah. but still not super crowded there's like two people swimming and the rest are just hanging out under the shelter We 
We've been here about an hour or just over an hour. The water is actually so nice. It's really cold. So much fun to dive in in this hot weather. It's a nice place to visit. I wouldn't say it's one of my favorites, but if you are in Puerto Patun, it's worth coming. Even if you just come for a morning, you can bring some snacks. There's some sheltered areas if you get really hot in the sun. It's a super relaxing atmosphere. So if you're just looking for a morning to chill out, relax, and enjoy some yeah. fresh water, this will be the place to come. Kim's just fixing the statues. Got knocked over a couple of times. Oh, you're a master. Wow. Nice, babe. Two hours later. So we just made it to White Beach, or actually, the f it's formerly known as White Beach. Now it's yeah. called Esmeralda Villa. So it was about a 20 to 30 minute ride on the scooter here from Port Baton. It was pretty rough. Yeah. A lot of puddles. <laughs> A lot of rocks. Just off-roading on a scooter. If you are walking to White Beach or Esmeralda Beach as it's now known as, there is a beach halfway in between Port Baton and Esmeralda Villa. It's called Coconut Beach and it's pretty much exactly the same as this beach. Coconut trees, white sand, beautiful water, except it's just half the distance. So if you're walking and you're a bit too tired, you can stop there instead of this one. Except they don't have the hammocks and they're pretty comfortable and at White Beach there's also a restaurant where you can buy food and drinks if you didn't bring anything with you where there was none of that available on Coconut Beach. safe and sound no injuries all good thankfully we did go past someone who actually did fall in one of the puddles so be super careful if you're not comfortable then maybe choose another option if you are only going to go to white beach and not the waterfall it's gonna work out cheaper or about the same as renting a motorbike because it'll be 600 to go there for both of you return and it's about 500 to rent a scooter for the day yeah so we're back in port baton we're gonna have a romantic Aww. romantic candlelit dinner on the beach to finish off our day okay there's so many cute kids around here you walk past them you drive past them they just melt your heart so cute hello, hello. i just wanted to show you this place so we're in the middle of port baton beach this sign here there's a guy here that sells burgers for 35 pesos underneath. So if you're on a budget and you don't like looking at the 300 peso burgers in the restaurants, just come to the middle of the beach, look for this sign, 35 pesos. We bought four today, yesterday we bought four as well. They're delicious. <laughs> just gone down we had an amazing dinner here the sky is absolutely beautiful yeah, thanks for coming along checking out the waterfall and checking out white beach here in port Barton. if you haven't already smack that subscribe button in the face other than that stay safe we'll catch you in the next one bye